Hello year threes, welcome back to science, your favorite subject, yay! In our today's Wednesday lesson, we are going to talk about the sense of hearing. We have looked at the sense of touch, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, and today we'll look at the sense of hearing. The moment you hear the word hear or hearing, I'm sure ears come to our minds. So we have two ears and we have those ears for a purpose. Can you all touch your ears? Feel your ears? Sometimes some of you like poking inside your ears with sharp objects. We don't do that because then you damage what's inside the ears that helps us to hear things. Right, so hearing helps us to hear different sounds that different objects produce. For example, we're able to hear birds singing, bugs chipping, cars, thunder, lightning, or the rains pouring, or rushing waters, and other sounds that come from different objects. We're able to hear that because we've got ears. So we must take care of our ears. They're so precious, they help us to hear what's around us. Right, so I've got this worksheet that I would like you to do. The worksheet says, circle the objects you can hear and then you color them. So there are different pictures on this paper. So what I would like you to do is to circle the pictures that produce sound and sound that you can hear and you color the objects pretty simple in addition you're also going to do this worksheet this worksheet is just to taste you of how much you remember about what you have learned about the senses so i've got five different pictures up here i've got the eye the nose the ear the tongue and the hand so you know that this is the sense of um, touch, taste, hearing, smell, and sight. And then I've got words in the word bank. So your job is to choose words in the word bank and fit them in these boxes according to the picture that the word is matching with. For example, cheese. The word cheese would match with this picture of the tongue because cheese has to do with the mouth or eating and that has to do with a sense of taste so cheese would go inside this box you do that with the rest of the words make sure you choose your words correctly and make sure they match properly with the pictures when you finish that then you come to the bottom of the page it says use the right verb for each sentence. So I've got smell, touch, see, taste, and hear. Those are the verbs you're going to use for number one up to number five. Number one says, I can dash silk with my hands. So you choose the verb that best fits in the space that has been provided and completes the rest of the sentence well. And then you go to number two, I can dash children playing with a ball. I can dash sweet chocolate. I can dash my mother's voice from the kitchen. And number five, I can dash smoke in the house. So you will be choosing the answers that have been provided at the top of the page. I hope you enjoy doing your work.